Hey guys, I'm going to talk about managing conflict in groups and forums, whether it's a group that you're running or a group that you're in, possibly. Um, and and it's really dark in here. It's been raining here in South Carolina for days, and I don't have much lighting, so it is what it is. But um, I'll do the, the best I can. I'm, I'm not a professional studio person. I'm just me. But um, in groups... Uh, and and, and, it, and it, it can vary, you know, like if you, I used to run a forum and it had uh, thousands of women on it and you get thousands of women on a very um, sensitive topic like dating and relationships, it can get kind of crazy. So you may not have to deal with much conflict, but I will tell you this, like attracts like. And if you are running a group and there is a lot of conflict going on, um, you, you definitely want to watch this video because um and and this video will help you prevent conflict too but um because people are gravitate to you who are like you and i am uh, basically a very laid back very peaceful person and that seems to be what i attract but um you can't always have that much control over it. but so you know if you're attracting a bunch of combative people you you might want to do some inner work <laughs> but we'll move on um so the, the number one thing about managing conflict, the very first thing and what it comes down to, it's not about them. It's about you. It's about managing yourself and your own emotions and um, your own amount of self-control. And be because it, I can just tell you some examples. Sometimes when someone will say something and it triggers me and almost makes me feel angry. Um, the ego has this need to go and be right. You, you, you know, being right does not do anything. It just puts the other person on the defense. And that's when the, you see these threads on Facebook. That's when you see them spiral out of control. So you're going to have to, um, you know, to be in control of your own emotions, not take things personal. You know, I can remember my very first attempt at a forum, the one for the women, I would go to bed at night and I would just be so upset by what was going on there. And I felt like I couldn't grab it and get it back into control. And there was a lot of dynamics going on there. I didn't own the very first forum. So, you know, it, it, it was, it was sometimes very messy, but I was taking the things personal and you can't take it personal. It's not about you. It's never about you. It's about another person's perception. So um, and that really is, I mean, this is pretty simple. It's, it's about managing yourself. And if someone is disrespectful and does get out of hand, it's better just to take them out of the group and, and just, just take them out and don't look back because um, you can't control other people. But um, then again, I have had some people that were upset with me. I've had someone upset with me recently um, about something that they did not deem as fair. And um, the first thing you have to do when someone is like that, because often you can turn these people around and they will become your best salesperson if you can do that. I mean, literally. Um, you have to hear them. You have to listen to them. You, you can't just exert your opinion and say, this is why I do this, this, and this. You have to listen, you have to relate, and you have to let them know that they are heard. And, you know, and, 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 and say, you know, I, I understand why you feel that way. I may, I probably feel that way too. And, and then you can go in and never use the word but. And don't say, I understand how you feel, but. Try to find another way to do that. That word, but, ugh, just horrible, horrible. And I have to watch myself on that one. I have to really be self-aware. So, honestly, the whole thing about managing conflict in a group or even managing a group is about how you manage yourself. And if you can manage yourself in your own emotions and not take things personal, um, you can manage conflict in a group. And that's pretty much what it's all about. And uh, that is really all I can tell you because it does stem. It stems to you and everything in your group really is a reflection of you. So um, I really don't have anything else to say about that. That is the 
bottom line in managing conflict in a group is managing yourself and self-awareness. And that's it. Thanks.